I was talking chainsaws the other night with my buddy John Knoll and I wanted to come out here and find out what I had this is a 20 inch saw chain for this saw drive link 72 gauge 0.050 and pitch is 3 8 I don't know what all that means the 72 I know is the part that goes down in the bar, how many, I, it's a size of that link or something, and that's what you have to have that goes to the sprocket on the saw. Now mine's a MS361. It's a heck of a saw. Uh, a few years ago when, I believe it was Bush, President Bush, uh, gave us a kickback on our income tax, that's what I bought with it. My other still had gone bad and I wanted something a little bigger and I have a humongous bar over here. Oh, let me get it. That saw, you can't even see it. That saw will run this bar. It's, uh, I believe, a 32 inch. Let me get the tape. Yeah, it's a 32 inch bar. That's 12 inches longer than the one that's on it. And it'll bury you in chips. Okay. Let's take a look at. This uh, this is the saw sharp or chain sharpener. I always have a spare chain, but uh, if I have uh, out in the woods sawing and happen to hit something or hit the dirt and dull my chain, I have this with me to sharpen it. Now let me zoom in a little. Okay, I had my bar chain sharpener on backwards. This is the way it goes. You can uh, adjust your file up and down this way to get an angle on your tooth. When I put this on here, I adjusted everything so it matched the way the original chain was sharpened, and it just came out to where it was zero on that. So that's good because when you ship change from this side to the other side, you don't have to mess with that. Then this one. You adjust it with this nut here and you can swing it around so you can do each side of the chain. And the way I do it is I set it up and matched it up and it was 40 degrees on this side. So I go through, I sharpen this tooth, raise this up, pull, skip a tooth and go to the next tooth that's the same way, same angle, and then come in and this is a little stop, it hits the back of the tooth, the cutting tooth. So then you sharpen that one, go all the way around the chain, and then what you do is you loosen this little nut, swing it around to 40 degrees on the other side, and then sharpen the uh, other side of the chain. And then every chain, every cutter on the chain is going to have the same degree angle and that's pretty important to get a nice straight cut if they're different angles it's going to want to cut more on one tooth than another tooth and then it's just going to kind of go through the, the piece of wood a little crazy so that's how I sharpen my chain out in the field if I dull it and that this one here locks it on and this one here when you bring your tooth up against there then you tighten this down and it clamps on your chain to keep the tooth from moving so you loosen that up loosen this up and carefully take it off and that's how you use one of those to sharpen a chain I'll take you over and show you my uh, one I have here in the shop. I 
when I bought my shop from this fella, it came with uh, a lot of different stuff, and I'll show you my chainsaw sharpener. Right here's my shop uh, chainsaw chain sharpener. It's a Foley bell saw, motorized job. It's got a forward and a reverse for the blade. Your chain sets in here. Here's the stop to stop the chain where you want it. There's a thing here that sets on the floor. There's a board that I step on, and when you step on it, it pulls this down, and if you see, that's how it grips the chain. So you pull it into place, step on the board, it grips the chain, then you come down with your cutter, and there's stops that keep it, you can set the depth you're cutting and all that kind of stuff. And then you do, like just like the other one, you do one side of the chain, then you change the degrees here to the other side, and then pull it back through the other way and uh, sharpen the other side of the chain. That really does a good job. Right back there you can see you can tilt your, this is the degrees you're tilting your uh, cutter and then here's your degrees on the angle you're bringing your chain through. And this is an adjustment to stop your chain in the right place. It's a pretty nice unit, does a good job. Got a little shield here for keeping the sparks away from you. But that does a good job on the chains. It's actually a professional unit. Uh, the guy that I bought my shop from used to sharpen chains for... Uh, he was retired and that's what he did for extra money and that's what I'm planning on doing someday is just different kind of stuff I can make a dime on the side. Let me turn my fan back on. If this fan ever quits working, I'm going to be in big trouble.